I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to our challenge of the day, 11th February 2019. The question for today is, if y varies jointly as x and z, and 5x is to 2 equals to y is to z, find the constant of variation. Four choices are given to you. You can always uh, write down your answer in the comments. The concept here is, you can take an example, like you know distance varies with respect to speed and time, right? So that's a good uh, correlation. So we know distance varies with speed and time. So you could relate with that and answer this question. Perfect. So we'll take up solution of this question tomorrow. I hope you find it simple and useful. Now here is solution to our yesterday's challenge question. A watch loses X minutes every Y hours. At this rate, how many hours will the watch lose in one week? So that was your question. I hope some of you must have got it right. Now how do, should we solve this particular question? Now my method of doing it is that we could say watch loses x minutes every y hour. So we are given x minutes in y hours, right? That is what we are given. What do we need to find? At this rate, how many hours will the watch lose in one week? So we want hours lost in one week. So we should convert this minute to hours lost, right? So, so we know that in one hour, we have 60 minutes. So in that way, we have converted this lost time in hours. Now the duration, y hours, we have to extend this duration to one week. So if you are doing one week, then we can start with one day. So one day has 24 hours. Correct? And in one week, we have seven days. So that gives you the solution. Do you see how by converting the units, we can easily get our solution. Now this is a very important test question which you can see in many competitive exams. So what I'm trying to say here is that, see that is how the units will cancel. So uh, you will get hours per week. Do you see that? So we got hours from here per week. This is what we wanted. And the expression is in the numerator, we are left with 24 times 7. Let's rewrite. So we are left with 24 times 7 and also the variable x. And in the denominator, we are left with 60 and y. Now these numbers can be simplified to get the correct answer. Correct? So we could divide this, both of them, by 4. Or let's do it by 6 first. So if I divide by 6, we get 10, and 6 times 4 is 24, and then we could further simplify, dividing them by 2, so we get 2 and 5. So that gives you the answer. 2 times 7 is 14, x in the numerator, denominator we get 5, y. So many hours per week. Is that clear, right? So 14x over 5y, which is our option B, is the correct option. So by conversion of units, it is very simple. So in few seconds, it can be solved, right? So I'll suggest this method to solve such questions. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. If you share my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.